The matchup between Kamaru Usman versus Hamza Chemaev is heavily rumored for the Abu Dhabi card in October. And this is a very interesting matchup. If this matchup does happen, it is going to be massive. We aren't sure if it's going to be like a 170, 185 type deal because we know UFC is pretty firm on the fact that Hamza Chemaev is going to be at 185. So maybe they kind of changed direction a little bit after Kamar Usman kind of wanted to get this fight. And maybe they're like, okay, if Hamza can make 170, we'll do it. It is in Abu Dhabi. I think you have more time to cut weight or like replenish yourself after. So maybe he'll push himself a little bit more for the weight cut. But... This is the fight that's being rumored to happen. It's going to be a massive fight if it does happen. Again, Kamar Usman apparently has been in Vegas or whatever trying to get this fight to happen. And then obviously Hamza Chemaev in his little interview said that this fight is going to happen. So um, it is kind of mouth to mouth here. At least you can say they've been calling each other out on social media basically just we're going to take their word as of right now we don't know what the ufc plans are exactly because we do have an enlist grab versus costa matchup which could possibly feed into hamza chamaya matchup chael saying hamza chamaya versus israel adesanya there's a bunch of things that could happen here but i'm going to go do an early prediction and breakdown for this matchup this is a super fun matchup uh, let's get right into it we have kamar usman versus hamza chamaya kamar usman 20 and 3 Hamza Chemaev, 12 and 0, 36 years of age for Kamar Usman, only 29 years old for Hamza Chemaev. There's a big seven inch, seven inch, seven year age difference here for Kamar Usman. I guess you can kind of say Hamza Chemaev kind of going into his prime a little bit more. He's only 29, so maybe not even then for his prime, but um, definitely heading towards his prime. I mean, Kamar Usman, you kind of argue kind of heading out of his prime. So Kamar Usman, six feet tall. Hamza Chemaev will be two inches taller at six foot two. We don't know what the weight division this is going to be at. So it could be 170. It could be 185. We don't know at this point. Uh, the reach advantage, one inch reach advantage for Kamar Usman in this match of 76 inches of reach. Hamza Chemaev, 75 inches of reach. And then one, le- one inch leg reach advantage for Kamar Usman with the 41 inch leg reach. For this matchup, of course, Kamar Usman's last matchup was a loss to Leon Edwards in London before then he got brutally KO'd in the fifth round I believe there's a minute left in that in that round too so he got brutally head kicked against Leon Edwards in that first matchup courses and altitude other factors there but uh, and then beat uh, Colby Covington by decision before then and then KO'd Jorge Masvidal before then so he's he's picked up the last two losses of his career last time he took a loss I believe he was the second fight of his career against Jose Caceres so um, he's on a little losing streak right now. Of course, it is only to Leon Edwards, but he is on a losing streak. For Hamza Chemaev, his last fight was against Kevin Holland in September of 2022. Again, there was all that drama where they had to move around the card because Hamza Chemaev missed a weight. He beat Gilbert Burns by decision. Very fun matchup there. That was April 9th of 2022 as well. So Hamza Chemaev hasn't fought in a while. The rumor is, is that he can't get into country or, or whatever the, the rumor is for him. They're saying Abu Dhabi in October, so it's gonna be over like 13 months till he has another fight. So we'll see how that factors into this matchup. But then we have a win over Li Jing Liang, uh, beat him by rear naked choke, pretty much embarrassed him a little bit. I like Leech, but he picked him up, threw him on the ground, talked to the boss, and then choked him out. But uh, yeah, a very impressive win for Hamza for sure. But for this matchup, I am gonna go with Hamza Shemaev. I think he, the thing with Kamaru Usman is with his style you saw him against like a colby these are just talking of course with the style defense you saw him against a colby covington you saw him against a jorge masvidal and you saw against a gilbert burns who are all kind of smaller guys you can argue colby covington could be a 155 or if you're going off of the other weights that these other guys cut obviously he doesn't cut weight but could argue be 155 and then two former 155ers even though jorge masvidal is kind of a bigger dude Obviously not a Leon Edwards or Hamza Chemaya, but he, he, I mean, he's heavier than Colby. Uh, Gilbert Burns is a kind of a heavier dude too. I guess he lost some weight, but by the time that Kamar Usman fought them, he was kind of the bigger guy there. But for Kamar Usman, he's used to being the bigger guy in these matches. He used to, I want to say like bullying these guys just with his style. He uses a lot of his physicality and his wrestling and would obviously not straight into those title defenses because I guess with the Jorge Masvidal fight, he kind of, just speaking on those title defenses, the Jorge Masvidal fight, the first one, he kind of used a lot more of his wrestling. But 
He's used to being that physically dominant guy. I think Gilbert Burns had a chance to, to win against Kamar Usman, but we know how that one went. He got dropped and then laid on his back for three rounds. But for especially Colby Covington, he's able to use his physicality. He had the more power, but obviously that was a very good fight and competitive fight on the feet. But just in general, he's able to use his physicality. Colby Covington couldn't really get takedowns because of how big Kamar Usman was and how strong he was in that matchup. He used his physicality. But then recently, we've seen Leon Edwards, whether it's the fact that Kamar Usman is 36 years old and he's kind of heading out of his physical prime. We know his knees are really bad, like really, really, really bad. Maybe he's out of his physical prime. And the fact that is a bigger guy in Leon Edwards, that's pretty much all around, has good defensive wrestling, good offensive wrestling, uh, good grappling in general. A uh, good stand-up. Maybe that was just really hard for Kamar Usman to use his physicality and get some of those takedowns because Leon Edwards is such a big dude. But he's used to being that hammer to the nail is, is what I'm basically saying. He's used to using that physicality. And I don't think, especially against a guy like Hamza Chimaev, who's used to being that hammer and he's bigger than everybody, he's going to be bigger than Kamar Usman. He's going to be stronger than Kamar Usman, likely. For I'm pretty sure he's going to be stronger than Kamar Usman because he's very big duty. You've seen the, his other fights. He's picking these guys up and throwing them on the ground, just manhandling them. I think he's going to be a stronger dude. He's going to be the bigger dude. He's going to be more physical than Kamar Usman. I can just see him walking him down and kind of just going forward and just landing some good shots. Obviously, uh, with Hamza Chimaev, he doesn't really move his head too much. He saw that kind of with an issue against Gilbert Burns. He's very tough, he's very good chin as well, but he's he kind of just goes straight. So maybe. Kamar Usman can catch him with something, but I, I don't know. I, I just don't think Kamar Usman is in his physical prime anymore. I think I can just see him getting walked down by Hamza Chamaya being the nail in this fight while Hamza Chamaya is a hammer. Obviously, he has a chance with his hands. He's got a lot of power in his hands, and this, depending on the weight division, this could benefit him, I guess, a little bit more here, but I think Hamza Chamaya is just going to be too much for him, uh, just throwing like leg kicks. And just walking him down, hitting him with some hammers, even maybe even taking him down. We saw Leon Edwards take him down as well. Another bigger dude there for that fight as well. So I just think the bigger guys, we've seen it with the Leon Edwards fight that are kind of just all around a little bit more decent on the feet, very strong in general, um, can kind of hold their own in that wrestling department for a Kamar Usman. I think Kamar Usman is really going to struggle in this matchup. I think maybe he does get TKO'd in, in this. Maybe Hamza Chamaya just throws him on the ground or submits him, or he throws him on the ground and then just holds him down on the ground and just TKO's him. But I, I just see Hamza Chamaya just being too much for him, being too big. And I think the physicality of Usman is not gonna it's it's not gonna he's not gonna be the the most physical fighter here like he would be over a Colby Covington, where he's a bigger fighter, the stronger fighter, he's defending all these takedowns, he's just throwing them around a little bit. Same thing with the Jorge Masvidal fight. He he had the power, although the second fight was a little bit more different because they, they were striking a little bit more, uh, especially the first fight. He he was being the physical fighter. Um, Burns is a different situation because of what happened in that fight. But in general, he couldn't do that to Leon Edwards, who was a bigger fighter, um, who was a little bit more balanced in every other way. And Leon Edwards was kind of circling the whole matchup. He was letting Kamar Usman come at him. You saw some of those knees that he did in the second fight, as, or sorry, the third fight. Uh, because, yeah, the, th the third fight, some of the knees that he landed on Kamar Usman, that really got Kamar Usman's attention because he was circling around and all that. Hamza Chimaev is going to come right at him. So maybe Kamar Usman is going to have a lot of answers with some of the counters and he's going to catch Hamza Chimaev, but we haven't really see, seen Hamza Chimaev hurt like that. We saw against Gilbert Burns, but that was an absolute war. And I don't think if we're talking about if this is going to be a war, I still think Hamza Chimaev is going to be a little bit more because again, we've seen Kamar Usman out cold uh, very recently, what less than a year. You've seen him out cold. By the time this fight happens, it'll be a little bit more over a year. And he took quite a bit of damage in the Leon Edwards fight, obviously not the same amount of damage, but I still think Hamza Chimaev is going to get this one done. I don't think I don't think anything is going to be there for Kamar Usman in this matchup. Hamza Chimaev is just going to be too physical for him, and I think he gets it done maybe in the first or second. Nah, first, I'll say late first round. I'll I'll say maybe the second round, or, or maybe if, if Kamar Usman somehow turns this to a five-round fight, it would be very interesting. But I, I just think he's he's 36 years old. He's kind of heading out of his prime. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with the younger guy here. He's a lot more stronger. He's a lot more physical. Um, who, who can beat 
Kamar Usman in some of those departments. So I'm going to go with Hamza Shamaya by finish. I'm going to say late first round finish. I don't think it'll be anything wild. I don't know if he flatlines Usman, but I, I can just see him walking him down, taking him down, maybe submits him, just like tosses him on the ground, moves him around and kind of just is that alpha to Usman. I, I don't know. I, I think he's just going to be stronger. I think he's going to be bigger and he's going to be stronger. And I think it's going to be a really big problem for Usman in this matchup. So um, maybe he submits him on the ground, just forcibly submits him. Maybe we see a second round submission. Maybe he doesn't get the submission in the first round, tries to go for more of like pitter patter punches the tko him a little bit more in like the second round but i see this being an early finish for hamza chamaya first or second round in this matchup so i hope you guys enjoyed this breakdown um i try to do my best on this one i think i i think i hit it on the head here i, I don't know if i trust usman and any more of his matchups i'm gonna be completely honest like if i'm looking down the line with his next possible matchup disregarding like a possible random thing like nate diaz or like a, a conor mcgregor I don't know how many matchups I see him winning. I'm going to be completely honest. He did not look good his last uh, fight against Leon Edwards. So I'm going to be completely honest. And I, I don't know if I trust him in any other matchup. Not, not that he's he's lost the trust that uh, he's not this horrible fighter. But I, I just I just don't think the physicality is there with some of these up-and-comer fighters. I don't trust him against a guy like Shavkat. I would pick Shavkat. I'll probably pick a lot of people in the top five against Kamar Usman in the welterweight division. So, um that's what I have for this matchup. Hamza Chimaya by finish in the first or second round. Uh, let me know who you guys have in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next.